Hi guys, okay, so I'm going to show you how to uh, farm around 10,000 blood echoes in about four to four and a half minutes. Uh, depends how quick you are, how good you are, of course. Um, once you've unlocked um, the the Yahagul, the Unseen Village Jail, um, you, you, can, you can respawn there, um, go to this third tombstone on the steps and go to the Hypogean Jail. Now this will take you to this location if you've unlocked the lamp, which you probably have done already if you're like me. Uh, you got taken here unawares by uh, one of these death dealers and uh, the same very same guy that you just saw starting to walk down the steps now if you wait a second maybe go uh, make a cup of tea or just uh, chill between doing this go ahead and just get these two guys to follow you um, but go down to these steps here once you get to these steps there's a little um, little ledge above you and it will stop these guys from actually being able to get to you they cannot follow you through this tunnel so get them both down here um, you can do them one at a time if you like um, but I recommend doing both at, both at the same time it'll be a lot quicker for you now uh, use a weapon with a long reach yeah um, here I'm using the hunter axe but uh, any of the spear weapons works pretty well uh, as well uh, and just get them to come they'll get they'll get very very close um, but as long as you you keep rolling away, rolling away from them and using your R2 uh, special attack. Fully charge it up and you'll take these guys out very very quickly. Now these guys will give you about sort of one and a half thousand uh, echoes each. Um, it's not a great amount but they drop uh, vials as well and a couple of other shards actually. actually these guys drop um, blood shards. Watch out, watch out you don't get caught out once you, uh, once you know you've done a lot of damage <laughs> you uh, back off pretty quickly. Now there we go, so two guys done um, and they both have dropped two bloodstone shards each which is uh, helps you level up and max out your your weapons. Very very well worth getting. Now when you finish those guys come along to this pillar now walk around here, do not run um, this hag here will not hear you and you can perform a visceral attack on her um, very very quickly one shot, one kill job done and she'll drop a couple of pebbles but you'll also get about 400 450 uh, blood echoes from her now the, these guys are your cash cows your cash pigs I should say um, there is a, a a giant a giant boar who is walking up the steps here um, there's another boar in a moment which I recommend you you also do when you're doing this uh, run um, but the best thing about these guys is they're pretty slow to move and you can perform visceral attacks on them if you just you just get behind them you need to roll behind them after they've made an attack now it's okay if you make a mistake you're gonna pick up a couple of vials doing this run several times so don't worry uh, <laughs> I made a mistake just there when they've done that attack where they land on the ground they are primed for oh yeah I feel like a vet examining the animal there um, they are primed for a visceral attack so just get up behind them fully charge um, to do a backstab and then perform your visceral attack on them using the R1 button. If you don't know how to do that, check my channel. I'll show you how to do the visceral attack on another video. I'll put it in the description down below. Um, but that's how you do it. Now I recommend you go and get this other boar as well. Um, once he sees you, he's going to charge for you and, well, nearly kill me. Um, but get behind these guys. Uh, you'll see them perform these attacks. Just keep rolling till you get round behind them and they've performed that uh, that slam attack with their head which means they're vulnerable for a few seconds. Just there, then perform a backstab and which is your holding down your R2 and then perform that rather disgusting up the bum visceral attack. Uh, that will give you, uh, both of these guys will drop around 3,000 uh, 3, plus blood echoes each. Now once you've done that, um, head straight back to where you killed the death dealers Go back up the stairs and uh, hit the lamp. Now, overall, in that four minutes right there, I showed you um, I've earned 10,000 blood echoes. Now, that was pretty quick compared to some of the other ways I've seen uh, to farm. So, really, really, trust me, guys, try this out. You have to have obviously unlocked this location, but end-to-end -end, it's about four and a half minutes if you start and then finish, and then you're able to start again. It's about four and a half minutes and that's 10,000, a little more than 10,000 blood echoes. Now in between, uh, maybe you do it two or three times, in between coming back you need to go back to the doll and upgrade and that will make it a little bit quicker every time. So guys, good luck, I hope you enjoyed this and it was very helpful to you. If it was, please give me a like. Thank you very much and I'll be back soon. Thanks a lot, good night.